In this episode, I'm going to go ahead and answer a question that I get quite often inside my JavaScript series inside this YouTube channel. Now, the question is regarding document write, because for the past many episodes, I've been using document write in order to give you guys some examples of how to do JavaScript. Now, in one of the first episodes, I gave you guys four examples of how we could actually write stuff inside the browser, but it seems that a lot of people get hung up on the method document write because I use it quite often inside my series here and used it in order to actually create stuff inside the website. So basically the question that I want to answer in this episode is when should you use document write? Now, right now I'm using document write inside a function called test one. And when it comes to creating content inside your website, for example, using a function like this. So basically when I click this div up here that has an on click event as test one, which is this function down here, it should create some text called Frida inside my website. Now, when I use document write in order to do this, document write is a function that we use in order to test stuff mainly when it comes to JavaScript, which means that right now, if I were to click on this div up here, all the content from my website is going to disappear. And the only thing we're going to see is Frida. To show you guys an example here, this is what we have inside the code where we had the box, you know, this is the website content. And when I click this text down here, I insert Frida. But as you guys can see, all the text and all the boxes and stuff gets deleted. And that's because document write is mainly used to test stuff when you use it inside functions like this. Now we talked about another method uh, called inner HTML, which is actually the one that you guys should be using if you want to insert text or div elements or you know any kind of HTML elements inside your website using an onclick event or something else. So in order to show you guys the difference between using document write and in HTML, I'm going to go ahead and comment out the test one function here and instead uncomment the other function I created underneath here called test two. And basically what this one does is that it goes in and gets our uh, ID called test, which is inside our div up here that has the content of our website. And basically it inserts the text free there inside this div box. Instead of document writing it, we're actually putting it inside an HTML element. Now what the difference here does, if I go ahead and change on click event to test two, is if I go ahead and refresh my browser and I click the text down here, it inserts Frida inside this HTML element and replaces the content inside of here. So the basic idea here is that you should not be using document write when you do actually want to create an actual website. We've been using it so far just to test. And I just want to make that clear because I've seen some people ask me in the questions, you know, regarding document write because it deletes stuff on a website. So if you want to do stuff where you insert text or insert HTML elements inside your website, you should be using inner HTML instead. So I just want to clarify that in this short episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.